Hi, my name is Len Brower. Please call me Len and welcome to my site. These are my methods that I have developed over many years of teaching so many people how to play both the piano and now the keyboard. Please start now by listening to the most requested Piano Man composed by the great Mr. Billy Joel. Once you have listened to it, you will realize that my arrangement and lesson is for everyone and is a must try. So thanks for inviting me into your home. After all, this is a lesson in your own home. You can buy the full lesson for you to keep for only five Australian dollars. Once paid on PayPal, you can print your music and follow my lesson over and over again. Okay, so I now assume that you have the music in front of you. Now that you, and you can have a look and you see Piano Man is written in the key of C major. So no sharps or flats unless written into the music and those are referred to as accidentals. Uh, your counting of this is very straightforward. It is simply waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, and so on. The importance of the left hand in Piano Man is paramount and backs up the whole song. Without these bass notes, it would not sound right and loses all of the impact of the song. The chord symbols, these I have written will be of great help especially with the likes of E minor stroke B C stroke G please remember that the second symbol is the bass note while the first symbol represents the actual chord so if you look um, for example let me just find something yeah if you look at the bar 49 that's in the second page. You're playing an A bass note, A minor stroke G. So it's a chord of, would be the chord of A minor in the right hand against a G bass note. And then D seventh is the next chord, which is played with the right hand, but you're playing an F sharp bass note. And then down to E. Um, you'll find as well, if I play those bass notes in the center phrase, that is from bar 49, A, G, F sharp, E, then back to the A, now watch this, G, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, that was D, E, F sharp, 
Now, G, A, E, D, C. I'm already on bar 61, bar 62, B. So that, that whole thing walks all the way down. I'm going to do that again. And that is what is, is so essential to the song. It's paramount that you actually bring those bass notes out. So really you can have, have a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah. You'll also notice that on bar 21, 39 and 67, there are two extra notes in the bass line. Uh, that is just to, uh, I'm going to find it for myself. Yes, there we are. So it's a D7. Um, D. If we, if we, if I were to write that in the treble clef in the right hand, you you would sit there with so many ledger lines. Those are those extension lines, having to read them and try and work them out. Incidentally, that when you read the bass clef, please you can feel free to assume that the lower notes that I've written, they are the octaves. Octave, as you know, is eight notes apart. Okay, and um, I think that is about all. Uh, 49 and 60, I have covered that. Yep, so we've got the whole story. You can now see that my method and lessons will become easier as you try each new song at all different levels. So thank you for trying, and I really hope that you enjoyed my piano lesson. And also remember, there are new songs available all the time. Till we meet again, this is Len Brower.